What is going on guys? Scott here from Horizon Bound. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing terrific and today I'm here to install a product from Rome Adventure Co. to the Tacoma. Now if you've been in the overland scene for a minute, you've probably already heard of Rome Adventure Co. but if you haven't, you should definitely go check them out. Rome makes awesome rugged cases, rugged coolers, tents, and awnings but they're not stopping there. They're currently expanding their lineup with outdoor living products like the chairs, the storage cubes, the landing pad that I'm standing on, uh, track lights for your awnings and tents, and most recently, what's inside this box. Uh, what's in the box? Not what's gun. in the box? Well, calm down, Brad. I was just about to tell everyone what's inside this large, long box. It's my in a box. No, 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 Justin, it's, it's not. What's inside this box is Rome's 28 liter water tank. Yes, that is right. Rome is now selling water tanks and from the looks of this thing, it is a beast. Now this one right here is 28 liters, which is roughly seven and a quarter, seven and a half gallons, I believe, um, but plenty of water for washing your dishes, showering while camping, um, washing your wetsuits and your surfboards for a day after, you know, a nice surf session. Um, I mean, this, this is plenty of water for a weekend trip. Um, and it's easily able to be refilled up, pressurized, and good to go again. So enough talking about this thing, let's get it installed onto the Tacoma. All right, first things first, deciding what side you want to put the tank on. As you can see, I currently have my Rome rugged case over on the other side, the passenger side. So I will be mounting my water tank to the driver's side. And I think that will work out because I currently have my awning over here. Um, so when I'm showering, I can just have the awning deployed. Kind of gives a little bit more privacy. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm gonna go and mount it. All right, so when you open up your box, you're gonna see you have your badass water tank as well as a box full of hardware. And in this box, you will have your shower head, you will have some hardware, some Teflon tape, and a tool to tighten uh, and loosen all of the fittings. So for now, let's just worry about the hardware. Now, I'm gonna go and tilt the tank on its side, and you're going to be putting two bolts with nuts and washers on one side with the bracket, you'll do the same on the other end with a bracket, and you will be putting the third set either on this side or this side. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's more just for reinforcement um, to the crossbars. So I'm gonna go ahead and put mine right here, here, and here. So let's go ahead and put it all together.
All right, guys, there you go. The Rome water tank is now mounted to my Tacoma. Um, not too difficult. Honestly, the hardest part was just getting to the nuts, um, you know, to tighten it down. Once you have it positioned, it's, it's pretty good, but you know, getting to the, the actual tightening, that was a little tricky. So if you have a ratchet wrench, um, you're gonna wanna use that. You're looking for a 17 millimeter. That's the, the size of the nut. And unfortunately, I had a 16 and an 18. Um, so I had to do it the old fashioned way of just, you know, <sighs> but whatever. Um, I will say I did get lucky because I have a moonroof and so that kind of gave me a little bit more access from, you know, the other side because obviously the Prince who, you know, side rail right there kind of blocks it. Um, but if you have a moonroof, you might be able to get to it a little bit easier as well. So that's pretty much it. The next part is to just add the shower head to the hose, fill it up with water and, um, you know, pressurize it. So I'll be busting out the ARB putting some air in there and going to, I believe it says 25 to 30 PSI. Um, we'll be done. All right, let's go ahead and remove the cap and we'll fill it up with water. Right. Easy enough. All right, so now the next step is to pressurize our tank. So let's go ahead and remove the valve stem cap and grab our hose, air, and instructions say between 20 to 30, so I'm gonna do 25. All right, so there's 25 PSI. We will now install our hose shower head. Okay. Let's go ahead and open the nozzle and Take our hose down. And.
open up the valve and So, uh, I think I figured out what the issue was. It's parked on a uh, driveway, so it's kind of, you know, slanted, which makes sense because all the water's up here, all the air's out here. Makes sense why I wasn't getting any water. So, now that I have moved the truck to the street and I'm on a flat surface, let's try this again. All right. There we go. That helps, guys. Much better. This is nice. Shower. Mist. Much better. So, when you guys are using your water tank, make sure you are on a flat surface. Otherwise, you're just going to get air coming out your hose. Alrighty, guys. So, that is the install of the Rome 28 liter water tank. Uh, like I said earlier, 28 liters, I believe comes out to seven point something gallons. Um, so plenty of water for washing dishes, for the camping, um, you know, taking a little shower. If you guys are surfers, you know, just getting the, the salt water off your board and your wetsuit. Um, I think that's gonna be a nice little addition to the, uh, to the Tacoma. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think having a water tank on your rig is overkill unnecessary or do you think it's a you think it's a nice feature to have let me know in the comments below if you guys like this video please do me a huge favor hit the like button if you want to see more stuff from my channel hit subscribe click the bell icon while you're at it so you can be notified when i drop the next video and uh, thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the horizon